Hi, are you the babysitter? Okay, come in. Is this your first time babysitting? No? Oh, well, you guys just keep getting younger and younger. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Kurt Cobaina, come over here. Kurt Cobaina. <laughs> so this is our home. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. I'm available between 8.30 and 8.45. And I asked you, Kurt Cobaina, to put your things away because we have a guest. No, 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 put the knife back. Put the knife back. Kids, she's so sweet. If you have to use the bathroom, it's right in here. Our toilet is actually the seashell. Just make sure you clean it out when you're done. Where's my purse? This is the kitchen, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, and when Kurt Cobain needs her bottle, we do give her this. Help yourself to whatever snack you need, but when Kurt Cobain goes to bed, she needs to have one piece of hot dog so she can hold on to it and eat it throughout the night. This is for her asthma. Oh, and if you need it, get down from there! We don't yell in this house. Stop that! Jimberly, let's go! Hey! What is she doing here? Hi, <laughs> I'm scared, oh my gosh. Hi, sorry, I just, I basically live here, like I live next door and we're like best friends. We've been best friends forever, so I just like walk in. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, are you guys studying? Oh, is this your textbook? It's so cute. <laughs> Wait, do your parents know that she's here? Sorry, I just know her parents are really strict, so I just wanna make sure everything's okay. You wanna hit? Vapes aren't bad for you. In fact, this isn't even a vape, it's a jump drive. She probably didn't greet you at the door. She knows me, right? Not you. You guys mind if I watch TV? Oh, no, no. They don't mind if I put my feet all over the couch. They know me. When did you guys get this? You didn't even tell me. Is it fake? How long were you going to stay? Because her mom usually wants people out before dinner. No! Kayla, you're not coming in here while I have a friend over. Stop! Let me in! Can you seriously help me just, like, stand here and, like, lock the door? Stop! Mom, can you tell Kayla to get her own friend? She won't stop bothering us. I'm so sorry. It's so annoying. Get out! Do you want me to break all your things? No! That's what I thought, no. So this is my Harry Potter we're gonna have. No! You wanna play? I mean, it would be better if we had a third player for this game, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We could ask your sister. No, absolutely, no way. She is so annoying. Like, she needs to get her own friend. She needs to grow up and stop bugging me. Mom, can I lock my door? No. Please, Kayla won't stop bothering us. Then just let her play. No! Seven. What is what what is the issue? I don't understand why we're up and moving around and laughing and giggling in the middle of the night ladies enough go to sleep <laughs> Okay, mm -mm. girls, I am not going to tell you again And I will be happy to call any of your mothers to come pick you up right now No, I don't care what time it is. I'm not doing this. This is my house and you are showing me blatant Disrespect turn the music off if I hear you one more time Everyone is going home Every single one. I don't even want to hear it. Good night. Sorry. <laughs> shh, shh. Go to sleep. Shh. Okay. I've tried to be nice, so you know what? Now I have to babysit you. I'm going to wait right here. <coughs> Is she still Shh. Oh, good morning, ladies. I'm making you guys some pancakes. Does that sound good? Yeah. We loved having you. Are you ready to go? Wait. Why are you doing your makeup? We're just going to the movies. Oh, come on. It takes you so long to get ready. Literally, all I need is my chapstick and I'm done in five minutes. I just don't understand why, like, you want to waste so much time of your day, like, putting this stuff on, especially when it doesn't even look that good. No offense. What is this? Hurry up. It takes you, like, a whole year to get ready. I feel like the guys at our school, like, don't even like when the girls wear makeup. They always come out of the locker room after they have their boys talk and they come find me and they're like, yeah, I don't know why Chrissy wore so much makeup today. Like, she totally looks, like, overdone. Like, we really like how you do it, like, talking about me because I don't wear makeup. So they just, like, really like the natural look. Look. Why so many? I feel like I'd probably just like put some of this on my lips and that's like it for me. Are you trying to impress someone? Why do you need so many colors? Are you almost done? I feel like I'd probably just use this like nude pink, like maybe right there and pff, that's it. I don't get it. Ooh, were you trying to do a natural look? Cause that glitter is not natural. <laughs> Creepy, it's weird. I feel like anyone that wears that much makeup is just like a pick me, no offense or anything. <laughs> this is for that BMW out there. We're gonna have to cut that transmission. Hey, can I help you? Yeah, I'm picking up my Mustang. The Mustang? Um. Okay, you picking up for your husband? Uh, no, for me. Probably just be easier if you get your husband on the phone. No, it's okay. Sure, because sometimes it can be a little complicated for you ladies, and I know your husband probably just- No, no, really, it's okay. Okay. Hey, Johnny, can I get the what? keys- What? Can I get the keys for that Mustang? The red one? Yep, all right, thanks. Let's go. Okay, so we went ahead and we did a 360 B Max. We'll check on your wipers here, and they are totally ruptured. You're gonna need a whole new set of tires. When was the last time you got your half shaft replaced? Um, never. Yeah, you probably won't be able to drive it out of here without one. Your throttle is hemorrhaging. Let me just see something here. Oh yeah, that's not good. 
Yeah, that door doesn't work. Yeah, your jam bumper's all messed up. I can't even fit under this thing. Yeah, I got a buddy that can fix all that for about 40,000. No, like seriously, that movie gave me PTSD. Like I cannot see anything with zombies now or I freak out. You got something in your eye right there. I just, sorry, I'm so OCD about that kind of stuff. <laughs> I just got a new shirt from Amazon and it was literally the wrong size. It didn't fit. I'm so depressed. Yeah, we're actually going out of town this weekend, which reminds me I need to get money from the bank. Sorry, that was so random. I'm so ADD. <laughs> oh my God, that traumatized me. You just traumatized me. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I was up so late last night talking to my boyfriend on the phone. <laughs> I'm such an insomniac. I'm gonna be so depressed if my mom doesn't let me go to the mall with you. Wow, your outfit is so sparkly. You're literally giving me anxiety right now. It's just like a lot. <laughs> I just had like three cups of coffee this morning. Hey, how's it going? Oh my God, I'm so ADHD right now. <laughs> my mom is so bipolar. She gets so angry with me whenever I steal her car. So what are you in uh, sixth grade now or 12th grade? Are you sure? That's a lot of time that's passed that I didn't even realize. You got yourself a little boyfriend or? Sarah, that's, well, that sounds like a female's name. I've never understood why them boys have such feminine names. It makes my life so much more complicated. Oh, so, no, 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 so, darling. I didn't ask who your friend was. I asked if you were dating anyone. Well, Sarah is a, a girl's name. So they're, they're, you're, so you're a female and, and she's also a female. So what are you running with them Democrats now? This is our family that you're representing and you're embarrassing everyone. Lynn? Did you know about this? Yeah, did you know that your daughter said that she's dating a female? It's not homophobic. It's a God-given right to be concerned. This ends or you're not coming to Christmas, bitch. Do it when you come over on Hey, Friday. do you know if we have any chemistry homework? Oh, no, we don't. Sweet. Thanks. Bye. Oh my God. Did you just see that? I think he just tried to ask me to prom. What? No, because he literally asks me that question every single day. I think he just doesn't pay attention in class. No. It's so awkward. Everyone keeps like hitting on me today. I don't even know what's going on. I don't think he was hitting on you. Oh no, he definitely was. Like you could totally tell. Jenna, come here. I have to tell you something. You can't tell anyone, but you know Elliot from first period? Yeah. Yeah. So he came up to us. We were totally minding our own business, right? Like we were doing just like our own thing. And he was like, hey, so... I really need help with the homework and I know that you're really good at it. So maybe I can come to your house after school and we can like work on it together. And I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of busy and I'm also kind of seeing someone and he like persisted. Like, oh my God. Like, really it was kind of embarrassing for him, but it was also really sweet and like innocent to see like how he was like intimidated by me. I mean, like you were there, you saw the whole thing. How embarrassing was that for him? Like it was so awkward for us. I mean, it's embarrassing for you. No, why are you being like this? Stop. I have to sleep right here. Cause if I sleep anywhere else, I'll literally be up all night with like nightmares. So you can probably sleep like right on the floor next to me. You have a sleeping bag, right? No, I I forgot it. Uh, you don't have like a pillow or a blanket? No, I don't. Um, I guess I could find you something. I got you a couple options. So I have this. It's it's my dog's toy, so it does squeak. But also I have this. I haven't used it, I promise. It's a duster, but it's kind of soft. And like, I feel like maybe you can fidget with it while you're sleeping. Um, I mean, do you have like a real pillow? Um, I mean, I guess. Hold on. I feel like you could probably just like get in this and it'll be like a little bed. No. So you should be good now, right? Uh, I just need a blanket. <sighs> All right, hold on. Found you a blanket. This is actually my favorite one because it can actually like link between your toes and it keeps all parts of you warm because it's from nature. So it's supposed okay, to Okay, whatever. Can I just have some water? All right, hold on. This is the only water bottle we have left and it's clean, so. Ew. You know. I mean, you should be good. <clears throat> oh, that's ugly. Huh. <clears throat> Hello? Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm your neighbor, Julie. <laughs> just wanted to stop by and see how the move-in was going. I know you've been in for about 24 hours now, so I just wanted to maybe say some things before you get too settled in, uh, specifically about this. All right, what about it? Yeah, this was in the middle of the road. I don't know if this was yours or anything, but what I figured since you're new here, it's probably yours. No, that's definitely not mine. Um, okay, well, uh, do you mind maybe throwing it away then? Just a few things. Number one, <laughs> this is kind of a big one for this neighborhood, but your mailbox is pretty dirty, and I know that you just moved in. I get it, but that needs to probably be your next thing that you do today is just clean that up. We just like to keep it real tidy. That trash can is a really off black, and we prefer it just to be like a night black. Also, I heard you have one of those loud cars. Can you just not drive it? So nice meeting you. You should ask your mom if I can sleep over. She won't let me on a school night. Are you serious? My mom would totally not care. Your mom is so mean. My parents let me do whatever I want. I don't know why your mom is such a dictator about your life. Whatever. Oh, your mom's coming. You should ask her. No, she'll just get mad. Ask her. Hi, ladies. What are we up to? Ask. No, I'm not gonna ask. Fine. Um, Mrs. Jordan, I was just wondering if I could sleep over tonight. No, not on the school night. But it really won't be that big of a deal. No. Okay, but you didn't let me sleep over last time either, so you kind of owe me. And me and Sam are having so much fun. We don't want to split up. Please let me stay. Please. No, not tonight. Sam wants me to stay, right, Sam? No. And my mom, like, wouldn't care at all. Okay, well, 
don't be surprised if Sam never wants to talk to you again. What? No, I don't want to go home now. Why are you threatening me? Your, your mom is so mean. My mom would never say anything like that. She literally gives us candy like me and my friends. So I don't even want to stay here. Your parents scare me. That's why my mom doesn't like her. Okay, not to be rude or anything. I just don't understand why they had to make the new Ariel, you know, like not white. Because I mean, if you think about it, you know, scientifically, it just doesn't make sense that someone that would be living under the water would have such dark skin. It's just going to be like hard to follow because it's not realistic in that sense. So. It's a movie about a fictitious creature. Oh, I know, but I'm not being racist. And speaking for the redhead community, it's honestly really disappointing to see Disney take away that kind of representation because none of the other princesses have red hair. Why is it so bad to give redheads representation? You know what I mean? Like it's kind of racist against redheads. It's just, you know, frustrating. Literally most Disney princesses are white. Yeah, but like not all of them. I'm not racist. I feel like they're punishing the white community. It's just not the Ariel that I grew up with. So I honestly think it's just like a nostalgic thing. What? It's the exact same movie. No, it's not. Like, how would you feel if they remade Princess and the Frog and they made Tiana white, you know? I mean, you can have your opinion, but she's just hashtag not my Ariel. Oh my God, is this your house? I thought it was the guest house. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, your creepy neighbor was like staring at me. It was so weird. Maybe they've just never seen denim. So is this your room or? Oh, it's the living room. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, my, oh, okay. I probably don't have to take my shoes off in here, right? Wait, so does your TV work or is it like a refurbished thing? Oh, and look at this cute little peasant window. Oh, your creepy neighbor's out there. <gasps> I can never live here. Oh my God, you know what? This reminds me of that bounce house from my fourth grade birthday party. Mm-hmm. Was there actually any food in here? Oh, you shop at Winn-Dixie? That's so cute. Oh my God, is that a drone? Oh, it's a grill? Wait, but where's the pool? Oh my God, your bedroom is literally the size of my bathroom. It's crazy. You have cleaners, right? Cause. <laughs> All right, baby, I gotta let you go. Sorry I'm late, it was work. <laughs> a little nervous about coming tonight. I don't typically date the curvier females, but you're actually attractive. Yeah, like my ex. She was really thin, <laughs> but uh, crazy, crazy. Yeah, darling, I'll do a Budweiser. And for the lady over here, we'll do a White Claw. Oh no, I'll do a margarita. I'm paying, don't worry about it. We'll do the White Claw. Hey, sweetheart. So, uh, you're a teacher or what uh, was No, it? not at all. Uh -huh. Actually, I work- Yeah, at so I work- Hey, you guys got the score? Hello? What do you like to do? Ugh. Is this a Budweiser? No, no, darling, I asked for a Heineken. No, yeah, thanks, you just- Jesus, I definitely learned a lot from walking around town. You got a phone call or? Oh, your mom. She call a lot. Oh. <laughs> I said medium wet. Lift about 2,000. What was that? Waitress. You know, I'm convinced that only ugly females wear that much makeup, but but yours looks really good. Waitress. Oh my God, dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, they lost, dude. Oh, oh let me get you another no, one. No, thank you. That's okay, we'll keep drinking. It's on me. So you want to head back to my place? No. But I just paid for your food. Hey. Hey, you ready for this? What do you mean? Like, did you study? Study for what? Are you serious? For the test. What test? Like today? Like in this class? Yeah. Like right now? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Did you study? Yeah, did you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't even know. What chapter is this on? 12 or 8? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. All right, class, let's get ready for the test. I'm gonna fail. No, I'm totally gonna fail this. And you may begin. Oh my god, I already don't even know the first question. Shh. Okay, time's up. Turn in your test. <gasps> that was so hard. Yeah, I have no idea. Did you even get number two? No. No, it was so confusing. Yeah, I totally had to guess for like the first five and then the last five, I just like filled in random words for the blank. I totally just failed that. My GPA is gonna drop like 20 points, I swear. All right, I'm handing back your tests. Oh no. I don't even want to look. Ugh, what'd you get? You got a 74 yeah. and you didn't even study? Oh my God, that's so good. I'm so embarrassed. I did so bad. What'd you get? I'm not going to tell you. I got a 97. I thought you didn't know the material. Oh, I don't. I seriously just guessed on all of these. I literally don't even know how I got this score. Yeah, right. No, I literally never even opened my textbook. Uh, excuse me, Miss Cornucopia. I have a question. Miss Cornucopia. Uh, uh, excuse me, ladies. I shouldn't be able to hear you up here. What should you be working on? Okay, if you have a question, what are you supposed to do? Thank you. Yes. I just wanted to ask Excuse you. Me? I just wanted to ask you a question. Okay, and what is my procedure if we have a question? Coming up to my desk is not an option. I'm working on students' papers right here, and you cannot be looking over my shoulder. Please go have a seat. We are five months into the semester. We should already know what my procedure is if we have a question. Can someone raise their hand quietly and remind my friend here what we're supposed to do if we have a question during classwork? Yep, Chelsea, go ahead. Raise your hand. Did you hear that? I should not have to be reminding you what we need to be doing to get our work done in class. Not at this point in the year. You need to go sit down and have a seat and raise your hand quietly or else I cannot help you. Okay, but no, I- No, I can't help you unless you are in your seat. Thank you. Yes, you have a question? Yeah, when do- Shh. We have other students that are working. Please use your inside voice when asking a question. When do we turn in- Come here, please. I, I can't hear you. Sorry, I'm late. Ah, oh, ow. <sighs> um, is your arm okay? Oh, um, can't tell anyone. It's actually a big secret, but I actually got a tattoo. 
Yeah, no, like a real one. Do you want to see it? Sure. Yeah, the tattoo artist basically told me that I did such a good job. He said this was like the most painful spot for someone to get a tattoo and I did like so good. Okay, you can't laugh. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is like significant meaning to me and my family. So like you need to take this seriously, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, It's just a moon? No, it's actually not just a moon. There's a lot of background and significant meaning to this. It actually is a symbol and representation of my soul. Christopher, what are you looking at? Stop. Oh my God, they're so nosy. He wasn't even looking. But yeah, anyway. I'll probably go back and get like 12 more. It's seriously so addicting. No, of course my mom doesn't know. I got it from her ex-boyfriend's ex-boyfriend. It was the whole thing. No, it didn't hurt. I kind of liked it. It felt good. I know I'm weird. I have such a high tolerance for pain. Hashtag tatted. <laughs> I know the answer. Stop looking. Stop. I have like three minutes till the bell. Just calm down. Are you okay? I. It looks like you're crying. No, no, no. You can tell me. You can totally tell me. Can you guys leave, please? You're being really loud. What? No, I'll catch up with you later. It's fine. Seriously. Serious? Just go. Just go. Okay, fine. Sorry, they're so annoying. What what happened? Oh, wait, Amber Jackson said that to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's hilarious. I've known that girl and her family for like, honestly, since second grade. And she has no room to talk. That's hilarious. What else did she say? Stop. And Amanda was right there and she didn't say anything? Nope. Oh, okay. I'll handle it. Don't worry. What's your name again? Sam. Okay. Where do you sit at lunch? In here. You come in here? What are you talking about? I mean... Oh, they made you feel like you couldn't sit in the cafeteria. Okay, no worries. Do you know where I sit? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're coming with me. In fact, let's walk there together so that way I can deal with it. Don't worry. Trust me. We're friends now. It's fine. But uh, did you say anything about me? No. Okay, good. <laughs> you should see if Diana will switch lunches with you so you can eat with me. I know, I'm so sick of eating with Camille. It's so gross. Hi, can I help you? It's your first day. Oh, well, welcome in. This is... Oh, your first day working here. Um, what's your name? They told you to shadow me? Who said that? Grayson. Okay, well, they always do this to me. Seriously, they never tell me anything. Um, it's a cute outfit. Um, what was your name again? Oh, okay. My name is Winter. It's nice to meet you. It's pretty self-explanatory. Have you worked before? Oh, you have? Okay, so it's pretty much probably like your last job. Oh, you worked with food? It's okay. It's probably the same thing, except for like... No food? Insurance? I didn't even know you could do that. I'm still on my parents' insurance, so I have no idea how any of that works. <laughs> Mandy, this is our new girl. She's shadowing me. I don't know how long. How long? All day. Okay, what should we ever do? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so you're gonna go and- Yes, I love you. I love you. Bye. See you later. Wait, what the frig? You guys started without me. You're gonna have to let me copy you so I can catch up to where you guys are. Wow, you did all of this? Do you have a pen? Oh, Lexi, come here. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm trying to study. No, I am. I'm with my study friends. We're all so smart. Do you guys have glasses so I can look like a nerd? <laughs> you have to go. Go! Sorry, my friends are so annoying. Oh no, I don't have any paper. Can someone let me borrow some? Bryce, give me here. I'm studying, I can't talk right now. Go away. Oh, um, for number 13, I, what did you get? Yeah, I got the same thing. Do you have a pencil I can borrow? Wait, you guys are going too fast. What did you get for number 15? Do you have a pen? What page are you on? I don't even have a textbook. Mine burned at the beginning of the year, but I'm actually really hungry, so I'm probably gonna eat lunch. Do you want some? Uh, 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 excuse me, Mrs. Jones's class. Why is it that I can hear you all the way down the fifth grade hallway right now? Uh, my class. Mrs. Jones had to step out into the hallway to take an emergency phone call, and she trusted that her fifth grade students would be able to be by themselves for a few moments and get their work done but you have shown nothing but blatant disrespect. Hands down, my class is right in the middle of testing. So we're quiet down there and we can hear every single one of you. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. You are about to go to middle school. That means that you need to be an adult. Right now, you are all showing me that you're not ready. Ladies, mm -mm, you're not ready. If we are not mature enough to be able to get our work done in the classroom at school, I don't think we're mature enough to have a pizza party on no. Friday. No. Nope. We're so sorry. Oh, don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. You should be apologizing to my students and everyone else in this hallway who's trying to take a test right now. Uh, excuse me, why are my students up and out of their- <laughs> Well, all right, sweetheart, we, uh, we gotta have a little chat. So, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> The last time we spoke, I had a bit of a hard time just accepting the, the fact that you had that, that little female friend that, that you guys, whatever you want to call that, that you're doing. <sighs> now, I get it. I get it that you are calling it a relationship and that you guys are, are together for your little middle school phase that, that you're going I'm through. I'm literally 18. Oh, no, I know you're 18. I know. And uh, I get it. I get it. I get wanting to do something that it's different than everyone else and wanting to stand out of the crowd. But as long as it doesn't go to the next level. What? Well, I, I am talking about the right of, of a man and woman to be able to, to come together and get married. And, and that's not something I can I can support on 
for you. <laughs> so as long as Okay, but you've been divorced nine times. I'm sorry, I don't understand what that has to do with literally anything that we're discussing right here. I'm talking about you and your infringement on my breath. Lynn, this bitch ain't coming. Okay, they should be in here somewhere. Oh, there she is. You see her right there laughing and smiling with all of her friends? Yeah, that's about to change because I'm about to confront her for talking shit about you. I really just have no tolerance for people that act like that, especially towards my friends. Like you can act that way towards me, not my family, not my friends, even though I know we just met. What was your name again? Sam. Sam. Okay, I'm gonna remember that. Sam. Sam. Okay. Do you want to come with me or do you want to stay here? I know it's sometimes like really awkward for people to confront other people, so I don't really mind. I'll do all the hard work. I really don't care. No, I'll come with you. Okay. Amber. Hey girl, what are you guys talking about? Uh, really important things. Oh, okay. Well, have you met my friend Sam here? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I don't know if you know this, but she's actually with me and it sounded like you had a problem with her outfit the other day. Oh, you don't remember. Okay, well, that's really convenient for you, isn't it? Because I remember in fourth grade when you came crying to me because everyone was making fun of your outfit and you begged to borrow my Abercrombie jeans, remember? So if you have a problem with my friend Sam, you have a problem with me and you don't wanna have a problem with me, okay? Bye ladies, you're still eating with me, right? Okay, good. Oh no, okay, your mom's here. This is gonna be the only way to convince them that we should have a sleepover, so this has to be perfect. We have to be in sync. Do you think we need to practice or do you think it's good? Let's do it one more time, one more time, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, and freeze. Okay, I think that's good. Do you think we should add like an extra to it or and remember when we're going down you have to really like out okay so make sure you do that if we mess this up in any way they're gonna say no we're not gonna be allowed to have a sleepover so make sure that you really are hitting your points okay girls it's time to go um could you guys actually come in here really fast uh no no, no, no. it'll just be really quick no, no no like really quick just come in my room Mom, seriously okay they're coming they're coming okay it's go time are you ready make sure that you're standing really straight and where are the hats five six seven eight Let us have a sleep over. We want to be together. Please let us. So what do you guys think? Can we have a sleepover or? Wait, but we came up with this whole dance. I don't understand.